What's up guys, it's I Have No Kidneys here, bringing you episode number 4 of DNA Wednesday, and this week we've got a solo domination DNA bomb for you, brought to you by Jordan Rules, aka Ebola is in the lobby. Now, three questions. One, why did I do that accent? Two, why has he called himself that? Three, why is he obsessed with Ebola? All three questions are that, which are pretty bloody fair, and all three questions I don't know the answer to, so sorry about that guys. Anyway, you, you may remember Jordan Rules from Modern Warfare 3 and Ghost and bringing some Beast gameplays to this channel. And Advanced Warfare's come out and he's pretty much taken up where he's left off and just started dominating everybody. So he's now in the lead for DNA Bombs for Cryptic Gaming, so need I say more. Dean, mate, pull your finger out. Modman, pull your finger out. The rest of the clan, just try and get one. So anyway, this video I'd like to talk about two things. One, the perfect setup for score streaks if you're looking to get a DNA bomb, and two, a brief map review of Solar, because I find Solar's actually a pretty damn good map, so, and you don't really hear that from me, usually I just moan like a bastard. Now, coming up, Jordan gets a very, very spongy and lucky kill. I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about one you'll see in about 10 seconds. So as you can see, he's starting to panic, he's thinking, right, I just need to survive this, and then the next round begins. So anyway, he seems to push into their spawn a little bit, which I personally wouldn't have done. I would have fallen back a little bit, but it seems to work for him. Now, watch this kill coming up here. So he gets one drop shot, and then turns around and just sprays like a bastard. Now, if that was me, I would have died about 10 years ago, but no. And then when he gets shot, you think, oh my god, he's going to die here. Nope, he doesn't. Then a grenade gets fired at him. Nope, doesn't die there. So I think somebody may have been host, because that is some serious sponging, my friend. So anyway, let's start with the map Solar. Solar is one of my favourite maps in Advanced Warfare. The spawns are relatively predictable. It's quite a nice layered map. I mean, it's not too high. There's a lot of places to run around on this. I think it's a really, really clever map. It was thought through, and that's all I want from maps. A thought through map with decent spawns. Because that's not a lot to ask for, really, is it? I mean, for fuck's sake, I've paid over 50 quid for this fucking game. Just give me a few maps, which I'm happy with. So yeah, Solar, I find, is a really, really good map. It's good to get streaks on. But this is the first DNA bomb I've seen on this map, so Jordan, congrats, man. Um, he's had a few on this map, because it's just a nice, balanced map. And to get a DNA bomb, solo domination, that means you can't control spawns, because you've got five other teammates who are going to run around and do what you want. So for Jordan to run around and kind of move with the spawn, so to speak, without getting shot in the back is very, very impressive. So, yeah, I'm a big fan of this DNA bomb. So that's a brief review of Solar. As for the poor, uh, blah, 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 perfect score streak setup, I would definitely say that a system hack and UAV is the way to go. However, I need to emphasize, putting on an ordinary UAV isn't enough in Advanced Warfare, in my opinion. You need to have threat detection. If you're not using threat detection and you're going for DNA bombs, then put it on and then just see your results. And before you say, oh, you know, well, they're harder to get. Well, bearing in mind, if you're going for a DNA bomb, you know, high streaks aren't really a problem here. A UAV with threat detection is 700. If you put extra time on it, that's 800. And as for the system hack, I'm not sure what type of system hack Jordan was using, but I think he was using a very basic one of disable exosuit, which I would also agree is the perfect one, because as soon as you disable their exosuits, they are fucked. They can't double jump, they can't move around the map freely, they can't boost. They're basically sitting ducks. They have to move around the map very slowly. And this isn't always a good thing. I'd say 90% of the time it's a good thing, but there are occasions where their response is to camp. Which I can understand to an extent, because if someone system hacks me with disable exosuit, I'm like, well, fuck it, I can't move. So what's the point in trying to move? So that's always the problem with, uh, with disable exosuit. I think the majority of times it is worth the risk. Um, anyway, on your screen you can see a HBR. So this was um, the second gun he used in this DNA bomb. He used three different guns. So it was kind of like a multi-gun DNA bomb as well. Um, but I thought the fact it was a solo DNA bomb made it a little bit more impressive. But hey-ho, we've had two great DNA bombs, two very similar DNA bombs the past two weeks. So next week we'll be changing up a little bit. We'll bring you Modman's second DNA bomb, and then the week after we'll be bringing you a 40KD, 40KD solo TDM DNA bomb, which is just pure beast. Um, that's all I'm going to say on that front, so you're going to have to wait a couple weeks. So if you're not subscribed, 
What the fuck are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. We've now gone past 250 subscribers and we're growing rapidly. So for all you new, new subscribers, welcome aboard. This is what we do every single Wednesday, bringing you the best DNA bombs we can possibly bring you from the Cryptic Gaming Clan. So all that boring shit out of the way. Um, Jordan here, I think he's on around a 25 streak and he's starting to panic. That assist gets him a system hack, which is always amazing when that happens. Because the amount of times I've just been thinking, fuck, I'm 10 points off, I'm 10 points off. And because I'm panicking so much, I die. Um, for example, last night, I was so kind of obsessed with keeping an eye on score streaks and, and things like that and spawns, I died on a 29. So I'm still a little bit hurt from that, to be honest with you. I promised myself I wouldn't mention it, but fuck you, I am going to mention it. Because I am upset and, you know, but... <laughs> what a cry. Anyway, so here I think he's on around a 28. And all I'm going to say is watch this kill for the 29. If this doesn't emphasize pure fluke, I'm not sure. So he's starting to panic here. He's weak. He's had a few bullets on him, but he knows this guy's got the advantage. So he's checking his spawn behind him. And then he jumps up. He sees a guy with the right shield. Now that saves him. He manages to jump up on that sign, which confuses the opponent, and he double jumps again. And that guy was like, what the fuck have I just seen? So Jordan, you're a fluky bastard. You didn't mean to jump up on that sign. However, there's a bit of a tip and trick for you in this video. So if you enjoyed the video, please do drop a like. Any suggestions, drop a comment. And as always, subscribe. Cheers.